In Creo 6, it is easier to control and configure the appearance of the model tree. The model tree is treated as a column in the left pane and managed as a non-removable column. You can define the width of the model tree from the model tree columns dialog box or by dragging the line that separates the columns. When you add columns, a button appears. Use this button to switch between showing and hiding the additional columns. Hiding columns shrinks the size of the left pane and maximizes the graphics area. The default settings for model tree filters is changed for part and assembly modes. Out of the box, features, suppressed objects and annotations appear in the model tree by default. The changes to the settings in the model tree are automatically stored by mode in the Creo Parametric Customization.ui file. Saved information includes the model tree display filter and model tree column settings, including column width. When you open a new Creo Parametric session, these settings are loaded automatically. Importing and exporting model tree settings includes import from and export to user customization files of type.ui. The default file filter for import and export workflows is .ui. The option to reset settings for the model tree is added to other areas in the user interface. The reset can be done for the current mode or for all modes. These new capabilities replace model tree configuration management using the tree.cfg file and streamline control and configuration of the model tree appearance.